Hello and welcome back to the Watchman channel. This prophetic word comes from D. Evans, Virginia, USA. Breaking Strongholds The enemy never does anything new. He always repeats the same attacks. His power is inferior and he does not have the authority, unless you give it to him. When a person is ignorant, the accuser may obtain power through the use of stronghold over that person. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. 2 Corinthians 2.11 Rest assured, the devil is defeated and he is completely dethroned, which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in heavenly places, above all principality and power and might and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age but in the age which is to come, and he put all things under his feet, and gave him to be head over all things to the church. Ephesians 1, 20-22 The works of the devil have been destroyed. He who sins is of the devil, for the devil has sinned from the beginning. For his purpose the Son of Man was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. 1 John 3, 8 if you feel that the enemy has authority over you through the works of a stronghold, you can remove the enemy's authority over you by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. As a guide, you can use these simple steps to remove the enemy's authority over you. The first step is repent. A heartfelt repentance always removes any legal right of the enemy. Check your heart, the things you say, the thoughts, and the actions. If you have any offenses or bitterness, rage, irritation, pride, or lust. If it's in your heart, rid yourself of it. When you repent of your sins genuinely, Jesus washes away your sins and removes any authority the enemy has over you. The second step would be to realign. Every time we as believers are close to a breakthrough, distraction will come to shift our focus away from God. The enemy uses accusations and persecutions and distractions to take our focus off Jesus. In response, realign your focus and live from the place of victory. Don't negate the power of prayer and worship. Live and create an atmosphere where breakthrough is imminent. Remember, you have the victory. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Hebrews 12.2 Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we do. We, we take these steps, God. We repent. We realign. I thank you, Father, that you have given us the power to break strongholds, to resist the devil, to stand up against the works of the enemy. And I thank you that it is only accomplished through the work of Jesus at Calvary. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, God, you have raised us from the dead. Lord, you have given us wisdom so we are not ignorant of the enemy's devices. And you have completely destroyed the works of the devil. You have not destroyed them, but you destroy them. You will destroy them. You are destroying them, God. And we thank you, Father, that we can rest in that knowledge. Lord, right now, right now in this moment, we turn over offense and bitterness, irritation, the pride of our hearts and lust. We turn it over to you, Father. We ask you to renew us, refresh us, realign us, God, back onto the path that you have for us, Father, as we work with you, Father, co-labor with you, Father, in breaking strongholds. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.